Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and I want to introduce you to a concept called rotating conversations. Now, this is going to seem very nebulous, maybe even over the top, a little bit theatrical, yet I think it's the missing piece in the workplace. I think when we talk to customers and we talk to people every single day, we're always talking about something that we're trying to solve, maybe a problem we're experiencing or what have you. So here's the question. Do you really know your people? Do your people really know each other? So in the last four weeks, <clears throat> I've experimented with this, and we do something in our coaching pods, which is our group coaching cohort. Many of our clients, we will start with 15 minutes of, you're going to go into breakout rooms, and you're just going to share your weekend, your favorite sports team, what you had for dinner, what's your favorite place to vacation. And at first, people are like, this is stupid. This is dumb. This is like speed dating. You get all this pushback. <clears throat> One client in particular who pushed back anybody is now saying, we're going to keep going, right? We're, we're going to keep doing the networking, right? We want to talk to people from other departments. So we have a concept. When you think about a team and how a team evolves, we hire people, we train them, we onboard them to a job. We're training them to do this job. Do we really onboard them to create relationships? Do we really onboard them to work with their peers? Do we really facilitate people getting to know each other? So let me give you an example. Years ago at one of our favorite client sites, we would do this in a four-step process. The first session, we'd get together and you'd have to stand up and introduce two unique things about the person that you were meeting with, which forced you to do what? Ask questions and listen. Then number two, you had to meet between session one and two, and you had to find something that you had in common, which forces what? Listening, asking questions. And what we found is that people had things in common they never knew. Sometimes people who had worked together for years. Then number three, and this is where we create a controlled environment, you're going to provide a perception of a department, sales, finance, operations, whatever it might be. And if you are representing that department, the only thing you can say is thank you. What we do ask you to do in session three is write down what you've heard in terms of perceptions. You're going to go back to your department. You're then going to come back and say, here's what we're going to do to strategically address those perceptions, which does what? Facilitates thoughtful conversation of conflict. Now, <clears throat> how do we get there? How do we maintain momentum? That's where rotating conversations come in. Recently, we were working with a client, <clears throat> number of clients on DISC, in emotional intelligence. And someone goes, how do we keep this going? Now, when you go through the training, and I happen to be a high ID, someone down the hallway isn't coming, oh, here comes Tim Hagen. Is he a D or an I? I can't remember. How do you keep it fresh? You set up what are called rotating conversations. We have built a whole course for leaders on how to facilitate rotating conversations, which strengthens the fiber and the foundation of the team. Where there's awareness, where there's commonality, where there's safe conversations around conflict, tightens the structure of the team. We've been doing this for decades as part of what we do as services. Now we've productized it. We've built it into a course. If you're intrigued by this, fill out the form below this video. We have created a whole course on how to use conversations to strengthen the team. Now embedded in there is something called emotional interpretation. Emotional interpretation is what we call the storm before emotional intelligence. Let me give you an example. Think about our last debate between two politicians, President Biden and President Trump. They had to have a mute button so they would listen to each other because they would just talk over each other. The two leaders <laughs> could not have a regular conversation. Happens in the workplace all the time. Let me tell you another one. We had a client where two departments were at odds with each other. And every time somebody spoke, the other side would do, oh, oh come on. They would show all these non-verbal acts of discord, which did what? Riled up the other side. Voices started to raise. Blood pressure went up. It doesn't mean we want robots. Yet don't we want people to have really good conversations? Don't we want our people to really get to know each other. We're not suggesting to be social friends outside of work, yet where you have context, where you have conversation, where you have connection, you will have less conflict. So we have built this combination course where we teach leaders how to have rotating conversations 
to strengthen the team and across departmental teams, and then something called emotional interpretation, how to calmly and factually react to things, not emotionally. And that's where the fiber of the team can be somewhat disconnected because someone can overreact or hear something or take it out of context. If this intrigues you, fill out the form below. We will get you information on the course. Thanks, everybody.